Um, on Friday, I believe it was, uh, my dad was climbing up on a ladder, 77 years old, um, with a chainsaw. <laughs> on <Under> reaction, exactly. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, I think on Facebook, someone commented and said, uh, what are our dads thinking that they're invincible? I said, I'll tell you in four years, what 40 years what they're thinking, <laughs> because I have no clue right now. But anyways, uh, he was cutting an apple tree with a chainsaw on a ladder uh, on a bit of a hill. And uh, we're not sure exactly what happened, except that he fell off the ladder. We're not sure if he blacked out before he fell off or because he doesn't remember the fall itself. Anyways, he ended up on the ground. My mom found a light there. She thought he was dead. Um, so she was frantic. Um, one thing that I will tell you that doesn't work is to dial 330 before 911. <laughs> <laughs> I told her she needs to put that as a chapter in her book someday. <laughs> Anyways, Amy, as, as most of you know, we live across the street, so Amy heard what she thought was a child yelling. And uh, I think my mom called her and she, she came over um, and helped with 911. And uh, so I got a call, I ended up coming and they actually put him on a, on a backboard with a neck brace um, because he was having some pain up, up in that area. So I took him to the hospital and uh, they did a, an MRI did some x-rays and um, unbelievably there's nothing at all with the spine or the neck damage which was pretty amazing uh, they did discover that he had torn his rotator cuff but years before because it was an old wound which was um, I don't know 15 years ago he was a pallbearer for my uncle Paul, so he really was a Paul Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm some of this stuff. <laughs> the casket slipped, and so he grabbed it because they thought it was on, you know, they thought it was on the back of the hearse and secure, and he grabbed it until others could get there. But in doing that, apparently, he ripped his rotator cuff. And so he's always had problems with it. So in the fall, he injured that, re-injured that, and having pains in his ribs. So we're taking him into the hospital tomorrow. You know, the blessing in all of this is that, you know, over the last number of years, he's he's gotten worse in terms of having shakes and the inability really to hold on to something without dropping it. And my question is why a chainsaw? <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I think they must know each other. <laughs> and so anyways, uh, we were able to get the emergency room doctor to actually refer him to a neurologist. And so we're going to have some tests run just to rule out some things and just kind of to see if there's some simple solutions with the shakes and, and some of the balance issues. But it's just a real blessing uh, just to know that the Lord was there, the Lord protected him, the Lord kept him safe. Uh, he's hurting, but he's alive and, uh, you know, as far as we know, no permanent damage. I mean, he's cognizant and able to communicate things like that. So it's a real blessing. Good night.